Hey y'all, welcome back to Freckle Fanny Farm. Today's video is going to be Paloma's live birth. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to today's video. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover for parts of the video because I was more focused on Paloma during her birth than I was about talking to the camera. I am looking at her rear end currently. Amniorexis has just occurred, which is rupture of the amnion or rupture of the amniotic sac. Also in layman's terms, it's known as um, the water breaking. This means that she is now in active labor. In a second, you're going to see her rump near her tail arch really high, and that is a contraction. And then her abdomen's going to tense up like it is right now, and she is pushing. When the doe is getting really close, she's going to get up and roll over and switch sides to try and find some comfort and get ready to push out the baby. So by the time a hoof had presented, Paloma had already been pushing for about 10 minutes. Um, I didn't want her to get too tired pushing because I have had some of them give up, um, especially whenever they have multiples. So I decided to go ahead and assist her at this point, just in case there was more than one. When you start to assist the doe on helping pass this baby, um, you kind of just hold the tension so whenever she stops pushing, it doesn't slide back in. So whenever she stops pushing, you just hold the tension on the baby so whenever she push pushes next time, she has a little more progress. But whenever you do pull tension, or when you do keep the tension on the leg, you want to keep it in a downward motion towards her back legs. You're not pulling straight out behind her. You're gonna do in a more curved position down to her back legs. Don't look at in a minute. Let's get him out. Yeah. The hardest part. Head and shoulders. <laughs> So right here you can see the nose start to show. Um, she was having a difficult time. This was a very big headed baby and only one foot was forward. The other foot was folded up behind her. This was a little more difficult. Um, I am feeling around for the other foot but still not able to find it. I'm kind of pushing the tissue back a little bit to try and help that head come forward. Um, right about now, I realize that this baby is starting to breathe out of her nose. And it's more of an urgent situation where this baby has to come out right now. Um, because if she were to slide back in, she has a possibility of drowning or suffocating. So I go ahead and grab that towel just to get a little bit more friction since the gloves are wet and the baby's wet so that we can get this baby out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you that here in about 15 seconds, it's gonna get a little violent, a little graphic. 
Mama is really starting to become in distress where she is pushing really hard and not having any progress on getting this baby out. I'm still not pulling really hard on her because I don't want to cause any more issues than there already are. Um, but here she's fixing to flail backwards and I'm going to have to try and stabilize her so she doesn't flip over backwards. And then she finally just gives us that one big push that we needed and got the baby out. So we're going to go ahead and clean off that baby, make sure we get the fluids out of the nose and out of the mouth, make sure she's breathing and makes some whining noises. And I keep saying she because she is a doe. We just found that out. Spot. Oh my moon spot. Hey babe. Cow. I don't know, we're not that far ahead yet. That was a little rougher than expected. That head really stuck in there, so I tried to just help as best as I could. Because at that point, the uh, sack had already come off the mouth of the doe ling, of the doe ling, and she was starting to breathe while she was still inside mom. So it was kind of one of those situations where we needed to try and get her out as fast as we could because she could drown inside if we didn't. There's number one. Okay, right before dark, that's the best time. She may only have this one. I'm not, I didn't feel anything when I bumped her, but. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean anything, I guess. Did she figure it out, Mom? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna bump her, see if I feel anything else moving in here. I don't feel anything. I need the nut. Okay, we got her latched. Thing yet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Strong little girl. 
thank y'all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, stick around and see what we got going on next. We'll see you then. Bye.